In this video, we'll talk about Mixcraft's MIDI score edit window. I've recorded a piano clip here, and if I play it back, it sounds like this. To edit in the MIDI score editor, I'll double click it, and then select score, and you can see all the notes on the staff right here. We can use this scroll bar over here to scroll in the middle if we like, and if you'd like a larger view on the screen, you can mouse over here and you can see where the cursor turns into two arrows up and down and we can click and drag up. And this will give us a little more real estate. You could also undock the editor into a separate window if you have the space. And this actually can be moved to a different location on your display. I'm going to close this back down by hitting the dock button. And the editor is back to being in the bottom half of the main window. The one thing that you might notice in the MIDI score edit window that's different from regular notation is the little bars over here by the notes. And if I mouse over them, you can see they turn blue. These bars indicate the length of notes, and you can see when I mouse over them, they turn blue. Now, of course, the length of the note is indicated by the actual note value, but these make it easy to grab notes and change the length. If you get right on the very end of one of these, you'll see the cursor turns into a set of double arrows, and you can click and drag them to adjust the length of notes. You can also click and drag in any other section of the blue bar to move a note. And as you see, the score adjusts itself appropriately. When you're moving notes around, make sure to grab them on the blue line as opposed to the note itself. Moving on to the pencil tool, this allows you to add new notes to the score. And like with the piano roll editor, the note values here as well as the velocity setting determine the note value and velocity of the notes that are added in the score. So if I've got this set on a half note, for example, at a velocity of 127, if I click in the score, I get a half note at a velocity of 127. The Erase tool erases notes as you'd expect, and you can erase single notes by clicking on a note, or you can erase multiple notes by holding down the mouse button and sweeping across a bunch of notes. The Flat and Sharp tools make it easy to raise or lower notes by a half step either direction. So if I click on the Flat tool and I select a note, you'll see it goes down a half step. Keep in mind the target area is right where this little tiny arrow is. And if I select the Sharp tool, same thing, but the notes go sharp. When editing notes in the score editor, the snap setting determines the quantization of positions when moving notes or the starter endpoints when changing note lengths. For example, if snap is set to quarter notes, if I move this note around, you'll see it moves horizontally in quarter note increments. And similarly, if I adjust the length, you'll see this jumps to quarter notes. If I wanted to move it or change the length with finer resolution, I could set a higher snap setting like 16th notes. And here you can see I'm adjusting the note length in finer increments. The tidy note setting affects how Mixcraft displays notation. With tidy notes set to lower note value settings, Mixcraft interprets how a part was intended to be played and displays it this way. Keep in mind that it doesn't affect how music plays back, it only affects how notation is displayed. Here I've intentionally recorded a pretty sloppily played part, and you can see with tidy notes set to 132nd notes, things are pretty messy and there's these crazy rests. If I set tidy notes to a lower value, like 8th notes for example, you can see the staff is much cleaner, and it ends up being a much more accurate representation of what the music is supposed to be. If you'd like to print sheet music from the score editor, just click the print button, and you'll see a standard printer output dialog. Here I've selected my HP printer, and I can press print to complete the printing process. Or if you'd like to make a PDF document of your song, just click PDF over here, and hit the print button, you'll see a save dialog for the PDF.